Great, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create our placeholder scene where we can add in some images or videos into some placeholders. So the first thing we want to do is we need to grab this flop that we used on the first one over here when we kind of transition with this flop and we're going to add it onto this one so we can transition to our placeholders. So what you can do is just duplicate that, so Control D and just leave it as flop 2, that's great and we'll come in here to scene 3 and we'll drop our flop 2 over here. Now what we need to do is actually change this text, so let's go into flop 2 and let's say, um, let's say check out our work control enter and I'll make it a little bit smaller to fit on the screen okay so you can add in any text but what, what's going to be happening in next in the next um, next slide we're going to we're going to add in some placeholders where they can add in videos or images so you can add in some text um, relating to the videos so once it drops in it's going to drop off at about four seconds it's already off what we need to do now is add in uh, placeholders. So to do that, just simply grab this rounded rectangle tool, and we're going to draw out, you know, a shape that we can add in our video or image onto. So something like that, I guess, and just place it maybe about there on the screen. We're also going to have our little character drop in as well. So let's go and grab our character walking, or is it walking Eddie over here, and we'll place him also. So he kind of walks on now, about now, so let's bring him over here, so he walks on, and then once he walks on, also we want to have this, this kind of animating on, so drag this to about there, and or about there maybe, and then what we want to do is bring the shape layer, make sure it's got no fill, but it's got a stroke, and the stroke will make it about, maybe something like that, let's have a look at this one over here. So as you can see, we've got this nice kind of stroke, and we've got this description bar on the bottom. So maybe something like that, that looks good. Maybe even a little bit less, maybe something like 30 for the stroke. And um, if I bring it over here, you'll see, maybe bring them over a little bit more. Okay, something like that. And then what we want to do is we'll rename this one, um, let's say, rectangle. And what we want to do is create a little box down here where we can add in some a description text bar. So grab this re round rectangle tool again, and just draw out a little box, something looking about something like that. And make sure that the fill is on. So um, just click on it on the box, and just wait for this to load. Okay, and click on the solid, and click OK, and we'll bring the solid the same color as the outline. So just grab that color there and click OK and there we are, so now we've got a nice box um, again you can come into these ones and change in the contents, rectangle 1, rectangle path, you can change the roundness up if you like to have it more rounded, um, let's have a look at that that looks alright, so about 30 I had for roundness in this one, I'll make the same maybe on this one I'll have a look on the rectangle path 1 roundness, actually maybe not so much let's have a look over here so something like that, that's not bad, like 18 or maybe a little bit less. Maybe something like 12 looks good. Okay. And then what you want to do is we need to create these into um, compositions. So what I'm going to do is for this first one, this I'm going to call this one um, shape. Let's call it shape. And I'm going to right click on it and pre-compose it. And I'm going to call this one description one. OK, and if I come in here, what we can do is get this button down here, um, and we can actually click and draw out just about the size of our placeholder, and then come over to Composition, and then Crop Comp to Region of Interest. And what that does is it makes the composition the same size as that, and we can add in some text on here, let's say, um, Description 1, and I'll make the text smaller and just drop it on there like so okay cool so now what you'll be able to see um, we've got our text box, when you when you do that often the, the composition goes in the wrong place so you have to bring it back and place it wherever you like so on the image okay cool so now what we can do is we can attach um, or we can actually highlight these and pre-compose them both and call this one placeholder one Okay. 
Great, so now that we've created our placeholder one, um, what we want to do is jump onto the next video and I'm going to show you how you can animate it so that it flops on.